What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to get lower process on Windows 11. So let's get started. So just go over here right now, I'm going to show you how to lower completely and I'm going to demonstrate you with an example. So first thing, just go over here in the task manager, let me click over here in the task manager and click on this one. And right now if I expand this, you can see this is if I go over here in the performance over here, right now as you can see if I scroll down, there are 223 apps is running in the background right now and I'm going to do some couple of work around here and I'm going to show you this get completely lower down and your system is getting much faster. So let me directly get into the step. So the first one is all about what we need to do is go over here, you can go to the startup apps and right now as you can see there are many startup apps. So some of them are disabled and some of them are enabled. The first and foremost thing what you need to do is you have to disable the unwanted things. For example, for me, the uh, Epic Games launcher is enabled. I don't want it. I want to disable it. In the same way, the Microsoft should be disabled as well. The mobile device should be disabled. MS Edge should be disabled. OneDrive should be disabled. Phone, phone link should be disabled as well. If I go over here, disable. Right client services, which I usually use a lot, so should be disabled as well. Right now, I need to disable this. Steam should be enabled. And if I go for uh, the Discord, should be disabled. And the VG tray should be disabled and also these things should be disabled. So the unwanted things from here in the startup should be completely disabled. And this is what you have to do as the first and foremost step. So after this, just close this and go to the next step. Next step is we need to press Windows and R key all together. So we just need to go over here, type services.msc and this is what you have to do. And right now when you open this, this is how it looks like. Now we need to try few more steps. That is all about. We just need to go over here, scroll down and navigate to a few things like Xbox Live Networking Services. So right now, if I check this, as you can see, this is Xbox Live Networking Services. Right click on this, go to the properties. And right now this is being set into manual What and I need to do is I just need to set this to the manual and make sure that I stop this. So I have to set this to the automatic and go for start. And what I need to do is once I run this on this one, I have to go for apply and go for okay. So the first and foremost thing, what I need to do is just go over here in the Xbox Live Network Services, right click over here and go to the properties. And right now, as you can see, the service state is running. So I need to go over here and disable this. Once disabling is done, I have to make sure that the service status is stopping. And once afterwards, I have to go for the next one. That is Xbox Live Game Save. So I have to go to the properties. So make sure this is being set into the disable. I have to go for apply. And right now this is being stopped. So I have to go for OK. Next one I have to go for Xbox Live Auth Manager. Right click on this one. Go to the properties. Go over here. Change this to the automatic disable. And I have to make sure the service status is stopped. And also moreover I need to also make sure one more thing that is called BitLock Drive Encryption. So I need to go over here at the top. I just need to go over here at the top, scroll down and navigate to BitLock and Drive Encryption Service. Right click over here and go to the properties. Make sure this has been set into disable and I have to go for apply and make sure the service status is stopped. Apparently I have to go for the next one that is, that is connected user experiences. So I have to scroll down and navigate to the connected user experiences over here. I have to right click on this one and also may go over here to the properties and make sure this will be disabled over here as well. Go for apply and go for OK and also I need to make sure it is stop it if it is running we need to make sure it is stop it and that's what we have to do once it is stop it we just need to close this and move to the next one next one is download maps manager over here you have to scroll down and navigate to over here for the download maps manager so scroll down over here and you can find the download maps manager somewhere else here so scroll down over here and you will be able to find it here so the downloads map manager should be here so yes it is here right click on this one properties and go over here to the disable over here you have to set into disable go for apply and make sure it is stop it and the next one is all about what we need to do is parental control if the parental control is not enabled we just need to disable it so scroll down and navigate to parental control over here now we just need to right click on this one and we have to go to the properties set it to disabled over here we need to set it disable go for apply and make sure it is stop it and also we need to go for valid services and also we have one more step over here which is called phone services right click on this one go over here to the properties change this to disable go for apply and go for ok and also the last and the least one is all about the valid services so if you find anything named valid services somewhere else here we just need to turn this off as well 
So go over here, right click and go to the properties. Make sure this should be disabled and go for apply and also make sure it is okay. And once all these things are done, we just need to close this and move to the next step. Next step is all about just go over here in the run. We need to do like this, just type run and you have to press enter. And right now we need to type over here that sysdm.cpl, right click on this one. And we need to go over here into the advanced and what we need to just go over here settings and right now over here what we need to do just only keep these things like animate in the task manage, manager in the taskbar which means animation in the taskbar and it should be click check or put a check on shadows show shadows under the windows put a check on show thumbnails instead of icons and also smooth exit of the screen frame rest everything can be disabled and go for okay and once everything is done you need to check next up is all about just go over here type on run command and you have to press on this one and we have to go over here for the ms config and you have to press enter and right now that will take you to just go to the services and go for hide all microsoft services disable all apply and go for ok and you have to do restart once the restart is done we just need to move to the next step next step is all about we just need to go over here check for task scheduler over here you have to scroll down over here in task scheduler and right now what we need is you can see there are a lot of things and what we need to just go to task radio library and some of these things are actually uh, running over here and we need to disable this. Some of them are very important at the same time, you know, if you click on this one, some of them are very important. These are required. So just un you need to select some of these and go for disable and di disable the unwanted things from here. That's an important one. Once the unwanted things are disabled, we just need to close this up as well and we need to move to the next step. Next step is all about just go over here, search for the settings and you have to click on the settings. But right now, what we need to do is we just need to go over here, go to the personalization and from here, we need to scroll down over here and we need to click over here in the personalizations. Once it is done, we need to go for taskbar over here. And right now, what we need to do is, okay, as you can see, there are a few things which is called, you know, uh, things for over here right now as you can see some of these things should be completely disabled as well so once you get into the taskbar over here as you can see you have to disable like for example widgets and all those things can be disabled over here but even for the task war everything can be removed from here as well so once you're done with this one what you need to do is you can just remove this as well and once it is done you can just go over here go to the apps over here and go to the installer apps Right now in the installer app, apart from what we have downloaded, there are some default apps in the Microsoft which is running. For example, I'm going to show you widgets. Over here, if you check for the widgets or the weather app, it is not needed, you can uninstall it. It's not much needed, you can just go for uninstall. Similarly, if you go over here at the top, you can also check for a few things like, you know, what I have to say, maps, mobile, plus etc is will be there so maps i don't use maps on my windows right now over here so if i find anything related to the maps i don't need just go here uninstall it and also if i go over here at the top i can also go to the top for any other apps like mobile plus for example you can scroll down and navigate to mobile plus so if you find anything called mobile plus here you can just remove it as well so just remove unwanted things from here that's what you have to do and we need to close this Move to the next one apart from trying to resolve this and just go over here search for the settings over here and go to the settings and right now we need to go over here and navigate to apps now go over here in the apps and right now what we need to do is we just need to go over here go for apps for website and over here right now we can see over here these things are enabled so what we need to do is we just need to turn this off the unwanted things can be completely turned this off maps can be turned off here as well just turn off unwanted things and you have to close this and after doing all these things, you can just go back over here in the task managers, type task manager. And right now, if I expand this and go over here in the performance right now, and you can see most probably all these things, the processes should be completely turned down. Right now, it was not the same with what it was right now. So this is how you can do it. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.